Okay, She's never seen a Marvel film. I love her. I'm so sorry. Replace that with a cat, please. Did this thing where he scuffled up your shoulder and just sat. Yeah. Guys, it's so great to see you. Apologies in advance for all the cat uh, questions because I know you're getting that a lot. Yeah. I have <laughs> one more cat question. Exactly. Uh, but before that, obviously, this is such a different way to tell a biopic. Like, I don't, I haven't seen one, I don't think, quite like this. Bendik, how long does it kind of get? take for you to get used to that kind of hyper stylized very different way of telling this man's story when i first met will obviously he comes with an amazing body of work in the shape of um, his previous film but, but especially flowers the series uh, the award-winning series he directed and starred and wrote and i mean he, he's a polymath he is Louis Wayne. he's extraordinary and his vision for this film was to extrapolate a worldview out of the art of louis wayne so I'm seeing things as an audience like you that really reflect what I was trying to think and feel and produce myself as a, as, as the person making a lot of the marks on the pages and, and canvases with paint uh, in the film. So it felt very natural. You know, this film is about accepting that people have a place in the world, uh, no matter how differently they see it or behave in it. And they, they, they should be celebrated and nurtured and nourished and that love, um, and generosity pays great dividends uh, in, in a life such as his, as, as evidenced by the relationship, which is so brief and tragically short with, with Emily, but sustains him through his life and also the favours he does people and, and the love that he put out there with his work that came back to him through his fans and the fundraising at the end of his life. So it felt normal because that's what I was living through as Louis Wayne. It didn't feel stylized. It felt like him it felt like his world it felt like everything around me was amplifying the way yeah. i was feeling playing him which could yeah. be very isolating and terrifying could be amazingly overwhelming and heightened it could be very calming and beautiful and nourishing as it was a lot with emily yeah it's so unlike anything i've seen but also putting so many cats in the trailer is one surefire way to get us all to want to watch it because it, i was just hooked from that moment uh did you guys have a particular <laughs> Did you have a particular favourite uh, cat when you were on set that you kind of took to? I loved Norbert, who was the little little kitten, because he always did this thing where he sort of, I mean, I think he was basically terrified, but he did this thing where he scuffled up your shoulder and just sat on your shoulder and you could just hear, feel him going like that. But I loved that, I loved, I only saw a couple of the really crazy looking cats, like the cat that was dyed blue and the cat with the massive eyes. And I just was amazed, I'd never seen such an extraordinary collection of cats. Um, so I like them all, and I, I, they all look great. They all look great, and they're so utterly different. They, I mean, mm. as a species, yes, they're definitely, you know, they're mysterious and majestical, independent, all the things we know about cats, and, but very humorous, and some have great energy, some are very sort of predatory, some are very approachable and docile, and others just don't want to know about it. <laughs> I, 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 my favourite was definitely um, Norbs, and poor little not Norbs, as he was called then, he was Norbs' stand-in <laughs> for the young <laughs> pit, kit, kit and Peter. Uh, he's since been renamed Nero and he belongs in the house of my best friend and, and fellow producer on this, Adam Ackland. So I, I get to see Norbs and now Nero. <laughs> I call him rather than not Norbs. Not Norbs. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm kind of jealous of that relationship because on screen, apart from kittens who lick bowls of milk and play with balls of wool, uh, you know, they really do do what they're supposed to. Every other cat, uh, it, it takes a lot of time and a lot of the day. <laughs> To make them do some very simple things um so uh, yeah if if i was to say do i love cats yes but in my rider it says always foy never again cats oh i mean do i, I don't blame you <laughs> I'm glad it's that way around yeah. never foy never always, always cats, cats. replace really, that with a cat please that'd be wrong on every level <laughs> no, it's a great on-screen partnership both cats and and this one as well um claire though you are in here with benedict tyker toby Sophia, this is all people from the Marvel Universe. Did you ever catch them talking about Marvel secrets that they did not let you in on? I don't think we talked about it once. Not once. <laughs> not once. No. What a surprise. No, we honestly, like, yeah, we all know each other for different reasons as well. Mm -hmm. um, and that thing happens there and it's wonderful, but this yeah. was a very different world and... We all know, yeah, exactly. So, no, no, it it's, wasn't part it's, of the it's a secret. And were you inspired at all, guys, to. Um... <laughs> She's never seen a Marvel film. I love her. I'm so sorry. That's great. I, I don't care. It's a whole. Enough movement people have I'm... seen. Enough That's people... fine. That's fine. Okay, right. I will. I will. <laughs> I will. Yeah. And I'll start with yours. 
There we go. Uh, oh, I've run out of time, guys. Uh, thank you so much, though. And um, sorry, did we cover anything in that? I feel like we, <laughs> talked, we talked about cats, talk. and we talked about we talked about cats. That's all we. we that's much. that's all that matters. Uh, thank you so much, guys. Lovely to see Enjoy you. Bye. 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 Bye.